Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Nasin Parasali. So this video is a continuation of the previous video. So previous video, if you didn't watch, I had I discussed the answer along with the proof of the various research article. Please do refer that video. Next thing is with respect to NADP and ATP is used during which phase of this Calvin cycle. So this Calvin cycle consists of three phases and this both the NADP and ATP are used during the reduction phase. So even though you don't read entire Calvin cycle that has been given in plant physiology textbook, at least you can go through the diagrammatic representation of Calvin cycle. Okay. And get to know how many ATP are generated, how many NADP are are generated and about the NZ. So, the correct option is reduction stage which is a stage 2. Arrange the time period in geological time stage. So, this is a correct stage. Okay. Cambrian, Jurassic, Keratinous, Quaternary. Okay. So, this is a correct stage. So, I think this particular thing if you refer um, you volume number 1 of Pathfinder book the last evolution once you open the evolution concept second page itself you will have an entire diagrammatic representation. So, try to remember those diagram either if you are finding hard to memorize them better take a colored printout and try to have a cheat code or cheat code so that in upcoming videos if you want definitely we will discuss about this geological time scale in detail because every year as we mentioned for secondary metabolic and plant physiology in ecology in evolution this geological time scale has been asking. The next thing match the incorrect statement. Yes this DT and TP are used for termination it has been used for sequencing reaction. Chain termination Sanger sequencing they will use this dideoxynucleotide polymerase to terminate the reaction. And southern blotting yes in southern blotting DNA probes will be used which is nothing but stretch of 10 to 12 nucleotides which is called as DNA primer. Respect to this 5 dash to 3 dash exonuclease no it is not for proofreading with respect to the proofreading exonuclease will process 3 dash to 5 dash power quality and respect to the east to ib system yes it is used for protein protein interaction and the wrong option is uh, 5 dash to 5, 3 dash exonuclease activity. The plant with green leaves is kept in a dark room only with a green light on what will happen so i had find out the answer not from any textbook it's from quora so one student has asked, asked the question and one candidate has replied so the correct option i can say if your plant with the green leaves is kept in dark room and it has been illuminated with the dark green light means wavelength of visible spectrum of light so human eye only we are only watching so how we can watch any leaves through our human eye so the human eye will analyze a visible spectrum Okay, so it will make the plant to visualize. Okay, and also green parts of the plant will be appearing more brighter. So, the correct option is that plant appears brighter than the surrounding because the normally the color we see is the wavelength of light that are reflected black by the object. So, the correct option is plant appear brighter than surrounding. Next. I, I need to share with you friends this question as such is has been analyzed it has been given from a foreign university so the foreign university on a weekly for every student they will give a activity page like that they need to have for biochemistry and all you can search for those activity pages that are published by foreign university like uh, in Deccan university like that many university the biochemistry division they will have a standard question you can't find those questions when, from with respect to our, any colleges okay so how many hydrogen bond with the back one of CO and NH will be there in an alpha helix containing 15 amino acid. So, the formula is N minus 4. So, N here signifies number of amino acids. So, 15 minus 4. So, 11 is the correct answer. So, I think here they had given an option. So, this thing is then given from an officially given from uh, the one university page when I had found. So, the same question has been asked in CSER. So, there are 15 residues. So, totally uh, 15, there are 2 hydrogen bond formed between 1 amino acid residue. So, 15 into 2, 30 hydrogen bond. Okay. And also in alpha helix, there are 4 residue at the end terminal side. So, 4 residue and 4 residue will be carboxy terminal side. Okay. And this 4 residue will make only 1 bond per residue. So, the total number will be 30 minus 2 into 4. So, only 1 bond we need to minus the bond. So, 22. So, when calculating this number, each hydrogen bond should be counted twice. Yes, we are counting 2 because if you take 1 residue, left hand side 1 uh, will be binding and right hand side 1 will be binding. Okay. So, you need to divide 22 by 2 which is 11. So, easily n minus 4 is a formula. So, 15 minus 4 11. Next, what happened to the saturation curve of hemoglobin when pH is increased? This is again an important topic, friends. So, I had taken you this particular thing from a Wikipedia page only. Here itself, they will give us the cash of shift to right can be remembered by aminomic cadet phase right. So, CO2, acid and 2,3 deoxy phosphoglycerate. Okay. So, in that time point, if there is an increase, then you should, the curve will face right. 
So with respect to this particular question, here you can be able to check at least if you study this particular problem alone, then it will be very much helpful. Acidity signifies a pH. Uh, if the acidity is increased, then the curve will shift towards. Okay, sorry. Uh, what happens to the saturation curve where pH is increased? So, if the pH is increased, therefore acidity is increased, then pH should be decreased. So, here you can be able to see acidity is increasing, but here they are asking about pH increase. So, if pH is increased, then acidity should be decreased. So, the correct option is the curve will shift towards left. Okay. So, the correct option is curve will shift towards left because here acidity determines H plus concentration, whereas your pH is the uh, hydrogen ion concentration. So, it is a log of hydrogen ion concentration. So, if acidity is increased and pH will be decreased, so ultimately the curve will shift towards left. Viral test is used for diagnosis of hemorrhagic fever is based on ultimately it is an agglutination where your staphylococcus species is involved in causing your uh, this uh, Viral test is used for checking typhoid word difference. So, it's a even though if you are from any colleges, if you had done your BAC, MS in your lab, you are using definitely every colleges will do this viral test. This viral test is generally used for diagnosis of entry fever. This is nothing but typhoid fever. So, if the person who are infected with typhoid fever, they will have a more antibody produced against a particular bacteria. So, that same point, there will be agglutination between antigen and antibody. So, in that agglutination, we can easily find out this viral test. And this viral test, I think you can refer microbeonline.in website to regard all those kind of microbiological tests. If they have given detail, even though you didn't refer any Prescott books, at least do refer those kind of websites. So, the correct answer is agglutination. Mystic acid is added to which group? So, mystic acid is nothing but it's a kind of an... Uh, uh, acid or I can say they are produced from a common mustard or any seeds okay so it's a essential oil and it is a linoleic acid and it is added to glycine group of amino acids so uh, mystic acid is added to glycine so this mystic acid is widely used in cosmetic industry friends because this mystic acid is a saturated fatty acid and they are used as an emulsifier with respect to food industry and also in cosmetic industry which is involved in the amino acid formation. So, the amino acid are classified into D form and L form. Naturally, most of the amino acid will be D form. And they are asking about formation of D amino acid. This D amino acid is generally formed by stereospecific specific combination of your alpha amino acid. So, this is how this particular D amino acid is formed. Next, which cycle is involved in allowing cell to enter S phase? So, here they are speaking about entry into S phase, not the cells are already entered. They are asking about which cycle is involved in entry into cell cycle. So, I can suggest you to refer this particular thing. So, here the website itself, the article name itself, cycling A promotes S phase entry. So, again the question is that which cycle is involved. So, correct option is cycling A. So, you can refer this particular uh, PDF, so they are available PDF, you can refer this article. Next clip about living fossil, so the correct option is the Turetera. So, this is the correct option friends, okay. So, this is nothing but this is a ligand. So, living fossil means uh, it's nothing but uh, these fossils will bear a strong similarity with these species. Like we can say this person looks like my grandma, this person looks like my grandpa, like th th that's how the fossils will be there. So, it will be identified by the living fossil. So, they have a play a major role with respect to evolution history and these are the, some living fossil I have been given so that in future examination you can take a screenshot of this particular video content but please do subscribe to my youtube channel before uh, watching anything because many of the students are not even subscribing so please click the subscribe button only thing it will be keep myself motivated so that I can put you all the details with respect to CACR examination and I am planning to put to you lectures with related to many uh, concepts with respect to molecular biology you need and with respect to last four units starting from diversity through applied biology we are going to concentrate so if you subscribe only then my videos will be given for you next thing the classic example for living fossils are horseshoe crabs and after reading this particular thing you should also remember the family name also and with respect to the stuartara which is a ligand that is also been used and this jingo which is a plant is also considered as a uh, living fossil. If you want more clarity, you can refer the Nature article Rapid Evolution of the Stora Tora published by Nature on 2008. What is the following in increasing order of productivity? So, this is an easiest question I can say, friends. So, let me clarify you increasing order is nothing but you need to arrange them in a uh, ascending order from smallest to big. So, with respect to smallest, so with respect to this tropical rainforest, the overall annual productivity is 880 kilocalories meter cube meter square per year. With respect to coral leaf, the annual productivity is 1600 
so annual productivity is 1600 and with respect to this open ocean it is 800 kilocalories and with respect to this marshes and swims it is 9600 and with respect to this tropical in forest it is 8800 so you can easily track them because this marshes and swamps in Tamil it's called Sadhupuri Lakadigal like that. This marshes and swamps will have an immense variety of species starting from insects, fishes and animals and birds. Okay, with respect to open oceans and all, uh, yes they do have but the only thing is that the, uh, it's an open ocean and the, there will be no vast variety of species. And the uh, next thing is tropical rainforest and with respect to the coral reefs and all there are many uh, things will be given. So the correct option is that uh, open ocean and the coral reefs and tropical rainforests and marshes and swamps so uh, which of the following is going a uh, decreased mean desert desert only have lowest productivity if you say it's saudi or tar desert they will be having a lowest productivity because desert there will be no water ultimately there will be no plantlets growing over there and also the food chain will be affected next thing shade leaves and sunlight reefs differs in terms of which of the following? So, this is again an important thing. I don't know how many people have attempted them wrong. There are two classified. Leaves are classified in two. One is shade leaves and another one is sunlight leaves. These shade leaves will grow well in the presence of shade and these leaves will grow only when full sunlight is available. So, the shade leaves will have thinner uh, leaves whereas the sunlight leaves will have thick, thicker leaves. So, first option is correct. Next thing, the shade leaves will have more stomata and the sunlight leaves will have less stomata because uh, the photosynthesis in shade leaves is very much low whereas in sunlight leaves it is very much high. Then number of stomata is also a correct option. Next thing chlorophyll content. The shade leaves will have more chlorophyll whereas the sunlight leaves will have less chlorophyll. So option number thickness of leaves, number of somata, chlorophyll content. All the options are correct. So I think after this option they are asking A, B, C or B, C, D or C, B, D like that they are asking. So the correct option is thickness of leaf, number of somata and chlorophyll content. Which of the organisms constitute the organism for this uh, lymphatic filariasis? Same question has been asked again in the gate example. So correct option is this. Cheria uh, Bancofti. So sorry I didn't italicize them. So please forgive me for not italicized. So always this particular name should be italicized. Next question, which of the following enzyme does not possess a active cluster in redox reaction? So if you take your uh, ETC, okay, electron transport chain, here you can find most commonly all the enzyme will have this FES cluster. FES cluster is nothing but ion sulfate cluster. So paradoxin is an important protein. It's also called this, this risky protein and it's generally involved in transferring an electron molecule. And with respect to NADH detectase, yes, it do have. Succinate dehydrogenase is also there. And if you remember the four complexes and if you study the structure of all those four complexes involved in ETC, then definitely you will answer. And only with respect to the cytochrome C oxidase, the cytochrome C oxidase will generally don't have this FES cluster. Instead of this, this particular thing, they do have this uh, copper another thing they don't have this FES cluster okay uh, next questions are so the entire question I had gathered uh, from the uh, live session many students uh, asked this question but ultimately they didn't replay or they didn't answer this question so I didn't take about one student has asked PIF regulates this cotomorphosis process or not because PIF nothing but cytochrome interaction factor and these are encoded by this helix loop helix transcription factor okay and these are negative regulator for light repressions that are repressing this photomorphogenesis okay this photomorphogenesis nothing but those plants or those seedlings will emerge only in the presence of light whereas these phytochromes are the positive regulator of this cotomorphosis state which is cotomorphosis means those seedlings will emerge in darkness so you can refer this lever article published on 2014 if you know the question you can refer next question is role of BMP this has been asked in a developmental biology so this BMP is nothing but bone morphogenetic protein and this protein belongs to the transforming growth factor beta superfamily and also the smart 1 pi 8 or the uh, downstream molecular BMP receptor that plays central load in BMP signal transaction and this BMP they generally act through either by the sort of or paraffin. So, you can get to know the answer from these five valid points. And next thing, what is the role of aromatase synthetase in estrogen synthesis and granular cells? So, this aromatase is again an important uh, enzyme. So, all the estrogen are synthesized from only from the and androgen 
precursor by the enzyme called aromatase. So, this enzyme is also classified as cytochrome P450 aromatase. Okay, this aromatase is an enzyme which will use the androgenic substrate like your testosterone or androstestosterone 16 hydroxy testosterone so that they can convert the testosterone to estrogen. So, ultimately, this is the role of aromatase. Next thing is with respect to the mobile genetic element. So, with respect to this particular thing, you can refer this particular article that has been published on steroids in 2011 here to physiology and pathology of aromatase. Next thing is with respect to uh, mobile genetic element and one question has been asked for mobile genetic element and all P, P element copy of signs and lines all are present in drosophila so you can check with respect to this particular thing transposable element in drosophila and they have detailed explain about this drosophila okay I don't know which is present in human all are present so with respect to the P element copy element are present in drosophila and signs and lines also present respect to human being signs like uh, signs and lines are also being present next yes this is i am completing with respect to the morning shift friends so both the parts has been completed so please do check with your friends and get to know the answer with respect to answer key when they will release already i had uploaded a video so please check with the dates and uh, please make yourself your attention uh downloading a mark responses and if you are really worried about your csr examination and you can challenge the answers also friends okay so uh, in next video i'll definitely meet you with uh, some good content better than this particular thing if you find any wrong in this particular thing then please do in the comment section so that we can analyze with along many friends and viewers of this particular channel thank you